Hey guys, welcome to the first Minecraft video on my channel. My name is Crazy Cat Lady, and today I'm going to be doing a mod review on the Butterfly Media's mod in 1.7.10. So, I have built a little testing center over here. Video back. I built a tiny little center over here um, with some butterflies in it, with uh, crafting recipes and all that stuff. So, the first thing that you need to start off with this butterfly mod is a butterfly net, which is just crafted uh, with three string and two sticks and like a fishing rod order, but it's not a fishing rod order. So, let's take a butterfly net and catch a butterfly. Okay, we have got a. What, oh, what is that? Oh, a dead Dalmatian ringlet. So, um, there are over a hundred of these butterflies. I think there's over 150 in this mod. Um, some are rare, some are, like, very, very common. Um, and I think it's, I think it's just really fun to experience. Um, the, I, I guess, realness? I don't know. I like butterflies. <laughs> That's what I think. So, um, after you build the butterfly net and you catch a few butterflies, you will realize that you start to have a collection. And sometimes, uh, there are a lot of people uh, in the world who grow up butterflies and they mount them on their walls or like expert butterfly, butterflyers, butterfly stars. And if you want to be one of those people in Minecraft, you can take an item frame style and put a butterfly in it. So you can craft it in three ways. One of them is just a regular stick one, which looks like an item frame with a little hanging string on it. The second one is built with nine lapis and a crafting table with a uh, any butterfly that you catch. It could be any one that you want to frame. Uh, I just really like peacock butterflies. I've seen them before in real life. And it just makes a blue frame with the same architecture as the last one. And then we have the iron one, which is just four iron around any butterfly that you want to frame. And then when you get a huge collection, you might want to start recording them. And this is what you'll use to record them. It's a butterfly encyclopedia. encyclopedia. So since I'm playing 1.7.10, the res crafting recipes have changed from earlier versions and now in the latest version. So how you craft it in 1.7.10 is you need a book, a ink sack, and a feather, and six butterflies, which are very choosy. That's weird. Picky? I don't know. You need to get specific butterflies to craft this. So you're going to need the dead brown, uh, northern brown argus. Oh, and uh, one more thing. When you catch a butterfly in a net, it is dead. You can't bring it back to life. Then we have the Jetta arctic, pearl... Carcaxis, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, the dead comma, purplish copper, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, I guess. And the common brimstone. You can either craft it that way, or instead you can make a book and quill, which is uh, really a book, feather, and ink sack string. You're going to need to get that anyways. Uh, it's the same uh, same order, so it's northern brown argus, uh, jetta arctic, dead pearl caraxis. It's the dead comma, uh, purplish copper, and the common brimstone. When you have um, a lot of butterflies, I guess, you could use a magnifying glass to study them, and that's crafted with a glass and an iron ingot. And I don't know actually how this works because it's maybe it's not transparent. Maybe if I take my texture pack off. This is oh you Minecraft you ugly. Can you guys be close? No, that doesn't work. Okay. Uh okay. I guess it doesn't work. Maybe they'll add it in the future. Uh now on to the uh butterfly findings. So if you want to be a real butterfly expert, you can catch one of the butterflies and make like a script. So before we get into this, let's get into some of Butterfly Encyclopedia. 
Uh, oh god. Um. Oh, but this is my book. Okay, so this is um all the butterflies you can get. So, speaking of which, you can get moths only in nighttime, and butterflies will not. You can't catch butterflies in the nighttime because moths come out. So this is a lot of the um. I guess, butterfly categories. Um, oh, I don't understand. Okay. This doesn't belong to someone. How about we go in the mode? Survival. Okay, here we go. So we have all of these right now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a butterfly net and catch a, uh, what is it, a dead peacock. Because I really like those butterflies. Where are they? They're red. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I get it? Yeah, I got a peacock. Okay. Oh, jewel moths. This is what I'm talking about. We get different kinds of moths. But I'm going to do a peacock right now. So I have my peacock. And can I, like, research this somehow? Oh, peacock right here. And I have birch forest, birch hills. So extreme hills, forest, and birch is where it can be caught in. Research it, so you could research it. Normal, escape rate, low. And these are just different information if you want to uh, learn uh, about this butterfly. And when you craft something like this, which is crafted by a magnifying glass, which is um, a glass block and some iron, the butterfly they would like to research, which in my case is a peacock, paper, and an ink sack. So now that we have that, we take these, and we click it. So we have all this. You were able to find spawning blocks, butterfly specimen 78. So you add this to the encyclopedia, and then you get specimen this, which is... We don't know yet, but it's supposed to be peacock, and I don't know how this works. Let's put this back. So... Oh, a butterfly went back too. Okay, so now that you have the research here, uh... Let's move on to the jars, and like I mentioned before, if you take a butterfly net and you capture a butterfly, it's dead. You can't bring it back to life. But if you have a jar, let's get a jar, and um, let's say you capture a butterfly. Ooh, butterfly, come into my jar. Come into my jar. Oh, okay. Actually, this is not how it works. I'm a dummy. You take a butterfly net. And you catch a but catch catch a butterfly, catch catch, and it goes right into your um right into your jar. Now there are s not I was I was gonna say so many, but there are only five kinds of jars that you could craft to keep your things in. And the difference between uh, a regular empty jar and all these nice plated ones is that they have different durabilities. So if I go in game mode, uh, survival. And I let one out, it should take up the doorbell after you do it for a while. Uh, it's pretty much like any tool that you have in Minecraft. So we have an empty jar crafted by iron and three pieces of glass in a bottle shape. Then we have the gold plated one, which is just gold and three in a bottle shape again. And then we have the lapis one, which is uh, iron and two lapis on the sides with the bottle shape again. And the same thing as lapis, you put two emeralds near a golden, a golden ingot, iron ingot, with um, three glass and a bottle shape. And then we have a diamond, which is, I guess, the biggest durability like it is with the tools in Minecraft, which is the diamond and a few pieces of glass in the bottle shape. Now, this is all that I know from this mod. Uh, I've watched a few videos, and I've researched a little bit on this mod. There, I think this will be extremely interesting if you add this to your survival, it gives it such a cool vibe. Uh, oh yeah, there's one more thing that I would like to explain. You might see right over here is a crafting guide, and that's from the crafting guide mod. I'm just going to quickly showcase that it lets you craft anything. So let's say I want to make... Oh, let's say I want to make um, a mossy couple. So you type it in. And you have the crafting recipe right over here. And this is how you craft it, just really quickly. You need four pieces of paper on the outside of the crafting table, 
and four pe four books in the I guess center, and in the dead center is a crafting table, and you would get yourself a crafting guide. Best thing about the crafting guide mod is that it applies to any mod that you use. It could be anything like um, let's say more creatures, um, more doors. I don't know. I don't know what mods. Um, uh, I'm using one point seven point two 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 two. And, um, yeah, some, they, a lot of the crafting recipes have changed. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this epic video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like this video and subscribe if you would like to. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll be posting more mod showcases. I will see you next time, and goodbye.